we'll be using to fit and install the bar rail molding are each rail, glue, screws, spoil board, biscuit joiner, and biscuits. The subtop should extend out beyond the main bar top 1 and 9 16 of an inch as shown. We first set up the spoil board to hold the bar rail up in position while cutting. We set the miter box angle at 45 degrees and position the bar rail on the spoil board to make the first cut. Next, we reset the miter box to the opposite 45 degree angle and position the other piece of bar rail for another cut. After making both cuts, we check the pieces for proper fitment and make any adjustments if needed. Now we can drill pilot holes every 12 inches in our subtop. We decided to make a biscuit joint on the bar rail miter for added strength, but this step is optional. Now we are applying glue to the subtop and to the top notch of the bar rail. Make sure to brush out the glue on the subtop and the bar rail for a closer fit. After applying the glue we used clamps with blocking to hold the bar rail in position. Finally, using the pilot holes we drilled earlier, we can secure the bar rail to the bar top from underneath with screws. After some light sanding and applying a finish, our bar top will be ready to use.